Okay, so the conversation that we're having on my Instagram stories today, which is really fascinating, is is it more unethical to be a billionaire or is it more unethical to steal from a billionaire? I feel like it's really hard for a lot of people to grasp just how much <laughs> like a billion dollars really is. Um, and when we talk about like morality and ethics and what it means to be a law abiding citizen and what it means to be violent, I don't think we contextualize what it looks like to accumulate masses and masses of wealth. So I've made this little video because do you know what I mean? Like I just, why am I lagging? This is weird. Okay. One billion dollars. What even is that? So this is a billion dollars. I feel like we all know that a billion dollars is a massive amount of money, but you don't really feel how much it is. I'm gonna do this little video, I'm gonna spell it out because some of you hoes are on Twitter during your 16 hour work shifts defending billionaires not paying taxes. Um, and I really feel like it's because we, we haven't fully grasped just how much a billion dollars is. Okay, so here's a million. And even that is like, like this is a lot of money. Um, most people will never see that in their entire lives. So now we have 100,000. 100,000 is a pretty good amount of money to make. Like if you're making that a year, like sis, you're good, well done entirely. And then we have 10K. This is just 10K. Most of us will see this in our lives. By most of us, I mean those of us who are part of the 1%, um, who are part of the 5% of society. But let's start with this here, 10K okay so now we have 10k let's multiply that by five so now we have 500,000 so let's take this 500k and let's copy paste that once and now we have a million so this is a million dollars like this is pretty good like now you're a millionaire i'm chilling so jeff bezos got a million and thought nah fam like let's keep going and it's like you know why not so let's take this million and let's copy paste that five times. So now we have five million. Let's take this five mil. Let's let's take it a step further. Let's take this five mil, um, copy paste that. Now we have 10 million. So let's take this 10 mil because why not? Like really, why not? Let's copy paste this 10 mil. Now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 million dollars and we're not even close to a billion. So all of this, like all of this that you're seeing in blue, all of this, this is 100 million. Let's take this a step further because we're really still not even at a billion. Like what are we even doing, fam? So 100 million, 200, 300, 400. 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1 billion dollars. So we're finally at a billion dollars. And let's really have a look. Like, how much even is a billion? So let's just keep going up. We're only at the beginning. This is, we're not even halfway. We're not even halfway. Let's go a bit faster because we actually don't have all day. And we're still not even close to reaching a billion. Wow. All of this and we're still not at a billion. Oh, we've reached the top. So all of this is literally one billion dollars. So let's take this a step further. Jeff Bezos, um, the second richest man in the world, basically has all of this that you're seeing, all of this, all of this that we're scrolling up, he has 100 of these. Um, Elon Musk has 23 of these. Mark Zuckerberg has 74 of these. So at this point, you're probably thinking, well, these are hardworking people. Like, if you've worked hard to make a billion dollars, then you deserve to have a billion dollars. So Jeff Bezos, who um, owns Amazon, who also now owns Whole Foods, entrepreneur we stand because don't we stand for billionaires under capitalism? The average Amazon employee makes 13.8 dollars an hour so that's actually less than minimum wage but how much does jeff bezos himself make an hour so jeff makes 8.96 an hour which is 
if we look at all of these billions and just keep in mind that he has 108 of these so if we take how much he makes in an hour that's this like if we just round it up let's just take what he makes in an hour out of the equation so we've taken that out of the equation and let's go all the way back up to the top and let's see if that even made a difference like do you even notice that we've taken that out do we i don't even see it i've been scrolling for hours um does it really make a difference okay here it is let's put that back now let's take this a step further take into account that we have twenty five thousand people a day who die of hunger so if we go back up this small small 10k this 10k over here um 1.9 million people a year don't even have this amount of money and so they die of hunger just from starvation so let's take this a step further according to the un to end world hunger would cost us 30 billion dollars a year let's 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 actually see what that looks like so if we assume if we take all this 1 billion and we multiply that by 108 we're not going to do that because we actually don't have all day but let's pretend that this is 110 billion so if jeff bezos wanted to end world hunger he could just take 30 just 30 percent of that which is this chunk let's take that out and let's see how much he still has left wow you still have all this money fam okay um do we even notice this like does this even make a difference okay so now let's say i want to buy the most expensive car in the world um the most expensive car is at this point 12 million dollars so let's say um out of this let's take 12 million so this would be 12 million Let's take that out. He's bought a Bugatti. Okay, how much money do we have left? Wow, it looks like we still have some money left. Um, okay, so let's just say, you know what? I'm feeling generous today. Let me donate just a cute two million to some random charity because whatever, like I'm feeling generous. Two million is gone. Do I still have some money left to spend? Oh shit, it looks like I do. Okay, I need to buy a house. Um, let me buy like a nice house, like a cute little house in Malibu, which will probably cost me what, maybe like 20 million. So let's take 20 million out. Um, I've ended world hunger. I've bought a $20 million house. I've bought the most expensive car in the world. Do I still have any money left? Oh my God, it looks like I'm still scrolling. <laughs> I still have some money left. Okay, um, I just have a lot of money. So let me just give some, let me buy one of you a car. Here's $2 million for a car. Here, there you go. Um, let me like throw another $3 million for a car you know what like i just don't know what else to do with my life because i just have all this money so let me like what else do i do let me just donate another 10 million to charity i hope i still have some cash left oh wow so here i am i'm jeff bezos i've literally single-handedly ended world hunger because it would cost 30 billion dollars a year to to end world hunger Jeff Bezos alone makes $78.5 billion a year. So if he single-handedly ended world hunger, he would actually still have $50 billion left just to chill. Like just 50 of these left to chill. And that's that on that. When we talk about like whether or not it's ethical to be a billionaire and we think about people like Kylie Jenner and Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and we applaud them as a society for becoming a billionaire without looking at how they became billionaires to begin with without understanding that in order to amass that level of money you have to exploit millions and millions of people like the level of cruelty that's involved in becoming a billionaire is not discussed when we're applauding people for becoming billionaires capitalism is intentionally very elusive and so it's hard for people to grasp that when they during their 18 hour work shifts when they log on to twitter to defend billionaires for not paying taxes they don't realize that Jeff Bezos is rich because you are poor. Like Kylie Jenner 
is a billionaire because you are broke like that's how the order of things work and i think one of the reasons it's really hard to grasp that is because the ways that we define violence like violence is okay when presidents do it like it's okay to be violent when we invade iraq or when you exploit africans and their resources like it's okay to steal but only when corporations and governments do it you know what i mean like capitalism steals from you every day and yet you have the audacity to judge someone for stealing a two dollar carrot and then there's the question of ownership and ownership is a really interesting and elusive concept under capitalism because who really owns what when i asked the question why is it unethical to steal from the rich um a few people responded with because what you're taking isn't yours which is really interesting because the person that you're defending has taken your time your sense of self your identity your economic freedom um, everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis from the way that you structure your days to the way that you self-narrate is rooted in a structure that was made to your detriment is rooted in a structure that was not made for you to flourish so it's really interesting when we talk about it because it's not yours well the time that was taken from you is that who does that not belong to you like I don't by now you guys know that I don't believe there's such a thing as a peaceful revolution. There's no such. So if you want freedom, if you want change, and I mean radical actual change, um, not these crumbs that they keep giving us and expecting us to just be okay with. If you want change, you have to take it. If you want freedom, you have to take it. It will not be given to you. And you have to take it by any means necessary. When the people in positions of power tell you to choose peace, what they really mean is choose order. Because peace requires justice. And justice was never attained without violence. So have fun with your peaceful protests, okay? It's, bitch, it's time for a revolution or we die. Like, those are the two options.